Hey guys, welcome back to our Urban Homestead. My name is Chelsea. If you're new here, welcome. Those that have been here a while, welcome back. Everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. So I was blessed with 50 pounds of potatoes and I need to figure out a way to get those preserved. I'm gonna try doing instant mashed potatoes. So last night I scrubbed a bunch up put them in my pressure cooker for 20 minutes, ran them under cold water, peeled them, tried putting them through my food mill. That did not work at all. So now what I'm doing is I have a pot on the stove, cut up just like I would for mashed potatoes. I'm gonna let these boil and then I'm going to um, drain them and then we're going to use the food mill and see if that works any better. So stick around. So the potatoes are <laughs> mashed. This food mill, I love this food mill. Or they're not mashed, they're, bo they're boiled <laughs> and ready to get mashed. I love this food mill. Um, it's in my Amazon storefront. And what I'm gonna do is just get these all milled through here. And I don't know if you guys can bring it in a little bit closer. See how it's like perfectly light and fluffy. So I'm gonna get the rest of these um, riced and then they're gonna go onto my dehydrator trays. So the first two trays I was mashing into a pot and then dumping on. But these um, these last trays, I'm just holding the ricer right over it. And I think that's gonna produce a much better product. So we are going to experiment. All right, here they are. I got, we're gonna start with four trays and see how that does. Um, the dehydrator is set on 130 degrees for 12 hours. So I'll see you tomorrow. It's the next morning. Everything is dry. I need some coffee and then we will blend these up and we'll give them a try, reconstitute them and see how they do. So I want to try reconstituting these first, just as they are without um, crushing them up. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a bowl and we're gonna get some in to the bowl and see how that works. I'm just gonna put some in here and cover it with some really hot water, cover the lid and wait about 10 or 15 minutes. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. Oh, wow. All right, so I'm gonna turn the camera around and let you guys Take a look at this. This is amazing. I'm very excited about this. You guys, look at that. That is just like a freshly mashed potato. Yes! All right, I'm gonna, we're gonna go ahead and give it a taste now. So this is just plain. I haven't salt, peppered, buttered, anything. And, uh, we're going to give it a try.
You guys, this is a breakthrough for me. <laughs> maybe, you know, I know maybe some of you guys have done this before, but I have never. I mean, it's legit. Like, I just boiled the potato and mashed it. I, I'm super excited. So, I'm not going to... Um, grind those up. There's no point in doing the extra work when this is literally like a fresh mashed potato. Oh, I'm excited. I hope you guys try it. Thanks for coming along with me on this new adventure. Um, My mind is blown. Like I, I make hash browns and stuff um, and sliced potatoes, but I have never ever made my own instant mashed potatoes. The possibilities, you guys, like, this is amazing. <laughs> Again, thanks for taking your time out of your day to come along with me on this journey. You guys, give it a try. You've seen how easy it was and I'm so excited. So I'm gonna get these vacuum sealed into vacuum sealed bags and they're gonna go on my pantry shelves. Until next time guys, from my kitchen to yours, abundance and blessings to you, bye-bye.